Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and somehow I managed to turn on the show weather option on our campaign, Operation Watchtower on War on the Sea. This is episode number 114. We are very close to victory, my friends, but it is not without challenges. Uh, somehow, let's get rid of this. They slipped through in the dead of night and put some troops on Guadalcanal. We've still got quite a bit of troops. Uh, a whole lot of supplies, so I'm not really too concerned with that. We've also uh, got a lot on Rennell, so we'll just have to run up there and uh, retake it on our way to Milne Bay and Victory. Now, what I'm thinking is the one area I don't have covered is this little area here, so somehow they managed to get past four submarines uh, one, two, three battleship battle groups, a cruiser battle group, and three carriers, four carriers, and a, some, another submarine. <clears throat> Not to mention Surface Action Group 9, who has failed us again. So at 4 o'clock in the morning, on the 46th day of battle, we are moving into intercept, which, uh, five ships, very fast, maybe one CL, I'm thinking... Eh, maybe, maybe not. Don't really care. Um, surface Action Group 9 is in decent shape as far as ammo goes. Uh, not a lot of damage, so they should be able to take them. If we can get up to uh, 5 o'clock, we can launch some airstrikes on them as well. Definitely going to be doing that from Guadalcanal. So, let's kick off episode number 114. Uh... Possibly with some uh, combat. We'll just shadow them. Keep shadowing them. Wonder where they're going. Do not lose sight of them. That would piss me off to no end. All right, air operations are now available. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, we are going to take all of our surface groups that we have in the area. I was ha having them patrol, and we are going to park them. right in front of the objective. Because obviously the Japanese are very sneaky. So you guys are in there. Uh, the only one I don't have someone sitting in front of is Florida Islands. Uh, they're going to go back down and sit in front of Guadalcanal after they get done here. Uh, let's get some air patrols up to get eyes on them. Whoops. Let's launch from the Lexington Dauntlesses. From Guadalcanal. From Avengers with rockets. Then we'll get our B-17s up as well. Uh, Saratoga, you can launch, let's see, Dauntless is 398 miles, well within range, so Dauntless is. Somehow I doubt all these aircraft are going to get here in time, but it is what it is. Okay, our Avengers are here. Let's keep them over the target as we move our bombers in as well. Get you a little closer. Surface action group nine. They'll probably get pulled into the fight as well. Do this. Pause. 
and go to tactical. Oh, good. You are here, so you can provide uh, provide support as needed. Turn off fire at will. Turn on your radar. And begin. There they are right there, right ab below our Avengers that need to get down to altitude. So we're going to have you come... Where are they? One ship. They put troops on with one ship. One ship. One ship delays the campaign. So you can come out here, come out like this, and hit the deck. You can do the same thing. Dauntlesses. Target attack. Target attack. Target attack. Here we go. Not a good day to be a Japanese destroyer captain. One ship. Uh, well, let's see here. How far out are you? 28,000 yards? Eh, whatever. You can watch. Watch how an attack is conducted. Should have caught that ship. Although in their own defense, a Japanese destroyer in the middle of the night is probably a pretty sneaky thing. So... No excuses, though. 250 troops is all they put on the island. And... I'm not too worried about it. Speed things up a little bit here. There we go. Doesn't even look like they're uh, firing on our many planes that are coming in to attack them. There we go. Uh, might as well uh, use them. Target attack. Target attack. It's going to be a lot of bombs falling on them. Here they come. Ouch. Here come our Avengers. Kind of going to make me a little mad if this doesn't sink the ships. Because now we have to chase them with our... Uh, with our surface fleet, or strafe with ship planes that aren't set up to be uh, strafers. Let's check the report. Critical and heavy. Oh, we got more. Forgot about them. We did lose uh, one. Hang on. One Avenger. Critical, critical.
Uh, let's see. 31,000 yards. That ship's got to sink. But just to be on the safe side. Select everybody. Target. Attack. Kingfisher attacking. This ought to be good. Speed things up. Never mind. And there we go. All right, well, you have managed to be a pain in the ass little destroyer, and you paid the price for it. All right, return to base. Uh-oh. That could be a problem. That was interesting. <clears throat> okay, return to base. Return to base. Minor heart attack avoided. Return to base. Surface action group 9. You go... Park by Guadalcanal. Uh... Crimson Tide. Or Tar Heel. Wait. Surface action group 9. There you go. You can go park by... Florida Islands, you're there, you're there, you are almost in position to unload your troops, Model Canal ready to launch aircraft, that's great, Tautog has an encounter with who? Ooh, looky, looky, look what we have here, maybe two CVEs with the Tautog, 14 torpedoes, uh, yeah, I did, uh, Put my couple of my subs right off their coast. Because why not? But we will get you a little closer, Tautog. See which way they go. Oh, they're going right for us. Sweet. Wait till they're right on top of us. Which they are tactical. Tautog, periscope depth, up scope. Turn on your radar. Target number one, which is not a. Oh. Possibly two CVEs, huh? Those are some pretty beefy looking CVEs. Oh boy. We have a new target. And they're only 4,000 yards out. Tautog. Well, you know who you're, you're targeting. Let's see, they're heading this way, so I'm going to turn just ever so slightly. Let's identify her. I believe that would be a Congo. I didn't think they had so many Congos. Well, they are sending battleships out now. Yes, that's a Congo. And out of curiosity would be... Yuzo. Uh, or... No, use though it is. Still haven't seen the uh, Yamato, or the Musashi, since the very beginning of our series. Okay, Congo. Obviously our primary target is the Congo. 
What do we have for torpedoes? Eight. I'm gonna launch them all on a two degree spread. <clears throat> See if they continue on this course here. We should be able to intercept them right about here. That's my thoughts anyway. There they are. That's our target. Maybe I should identify her. Oh, we'll hold off on doing that. I may swing around and launch these stern tubes at her too. Okay, steady up on your course. Okay, reduce speed. Two thousand yards out. Fire. I should have checked the solution first before I let loose. Let's identify her while we wait. better solution on Fuso now. See how our torpedoes do. Running pretty good. What? Seriously? Six torpedo hits. And somehow we lost the Fuso. Not sure how that happened. Uh, come to a stop. How did we lose them? She's dead in the water now. Fuso's turning away and running, so... <sighs> Not sure uh, attack on Fuso, who we can't even see anymore, would be a very good idea. She has critical damage and critical flooding, so chances are she's going to sink. Only going 21 knots, though. What's this? One degree spread. You still maneuvering or is she running straight? <clears throat> well, you know what? Why not? <laughs> Four torpedoes, one degree spread. A uh, good chance they'll uh, accidentally hit the Congo, but that's okay. I don't think the Congo is actually going to be there when our torpedoes arrive, so 
see what happens. There we go, our torpedoes. Not sure uh, what the speed is on these things, but I guess we're about to find out. There they go, chasing after her. Congo is sinking. Yuzo is running away with our torpedoes in pursuit. We have two torpedoes in the front and three, or three in the front, two in the rear. But we technically have five more torpedoes available. <clears throat> Oops. Where are they? They're coming in. They're right here. They're slowly catching up. That'd be great if we hit her uh, propeller and put her dead. I don't think they're going to hit, though. She might be running home. Yeah, they're not going to hit. Good job, Tautog. Alright, you can go. Yeah, they dropped off. I think that was my most successful uh, most successful attack with a submarine to date. Alright, away we go. Now Tatog, you are done. Your war is over, you can go home. Greenling. Bring the Triton down. Greenling, I want you to move up. With the Thresher coming and taking up a patrol pattern like this, I probably should just uh, maintain my patrol patterns, but at this point in the campaign, I'm ready to have some fun. So... All right, so considering I haven't bothered with air patrols, I'm going to do that and get right back to you. We'll see if we can get that other uh, battleship on the bottom. Okay, so we have a group of uh, six ships, maybe one DD. So I launched planes from everything in sight to deal with that destroyer. I did have a flight of Dauntlesses heading up here to uh, possibly hit that battleship that we have uh, left over. <clears throat> I retest them to go after this little fella here. I've also got Dauntlesses from the Wasp and the Enterprise heading in. And a uh, scout. Surface Action Group 12 has been redirected to try and intercept. Kingfisher must be encounter. Uh, encounter must be resolved. Not really... Uh, what do you have for range? Kingfisher. We'll just keep him right over the uh, target for now. Let our planes assemble. Saratoga ready to launch. Not going to bother for the time being. Got, let's see, 12... 24, so it should be enough to deal with a destroyer, if that's what it actually is. Alright. Then we've also got these 12 here, so... Hey, get back in there. Enterprise is ready to launch. 
I guess it's a matter of which 12 get there first. That'll be you. There you go. Tactical. S. E. There we go. Okay. Ah, already shooting at me. Hang on. Attack. Attack. These guys who are right on top of them. I don't think you're going to live very long. Tough guy. You and your troops. Toast. I could always uh, do some experimenting with the uh, manual fire like has been suggested, but I discovered that I absolutely suck with that and don't have the patience to click move, click move, click move, pause move, pause move, so we're going to leave it up to our pilots. And so far they appear to be doing a fairly good job. I think we still got more moving in. Yeah, here they come. It's another 12 for you. Oh, they all missed. Say that ship's having some problems. Uh, did they... Sinking. Okay. I didn't hear the, uh... The bell there, so... All right, good job. Okay. Burn the base. Should have just left that one group going up there. Oh, well. Burn the base. Burn the base. Let's see if our air patrols can pick up anything else. I'm hoping that... Uh, Greenling. She doesn't have a whole lot of uh, torpedoes here. Well, you know what? Whatever. Wasp is ready to launch. I think Enterprise is ready to launch too, or not. Wasp, how far out are you? Should I even bother? 261 miles. Why not? Just in case that battleship shows up, we'll send someone up there to bomb them. Oh, hang on. All cargo has been unloaded at Renell Island. Uh, we're going to pull you off shore. Oh, you're that's still moving in. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do down here. Uh-oh. What do we have? We have some planes. Celtic Battle Group has an encounter with God knows what. So I guess we all get into that. Oh, aircraft, huh? And we have nothing to uh, fight back with. Play smoke. Pick up your speed. 
Turn this way. Four zeros. And here they come. Let's see how many of them live. impressive. Oh, it took a while, but <laughs> they flew right over us, and uh, we only got one of them. I think two, if I heard correctly. Looks like we're shooting at it ourselves, so that might not be a good thing. Let's check the damages. I think they all went after the Massachusetts. Yeah. All right, I guess you guys can turn off your smoke. You got two of them, so. Get that damage repaired. And leave. All right, so we need some air cover over here to be provided by the wasp. There you go. Okay, you are back here. There's uh, three ships for 1,400 supplies. Might as well go in and grab them. Wait, what the hell? Why is that smoking again? What is happening? Because we have Santa Cruz. Why is it smoking? <clears throat> All right. Very awkward silence there. I don't understand why the uh, that goes from taken to smoking when nobody landed. We have a full, we have the island, it's ours, stop smoking. All right, it is nighttime. We have a couple subs up here, just kind of hanging out. Pause for a minute, set up some patrols. Really don't understand why uh, Santa Cruz went back to uh, contested, even though it doesn't list it as being contested. Start pulling these guys out. There's no real point in having them just sitting up there. But we will continue on and see what we can discover throughout the course of the night. None of my ships are moving. Everyone is just kind of marking time. I'm going to let this one play out a little bit here up till the morning. 
and see uh see do we get any more troops we may have to send more troops up here to uh do something with this again and meanwhile Guadalcanal even though it had troops on it is not smoking well it wasn't until they put more troops on it oh go go ahead and say it seven six open your eyes Okay, air operations are now available. Maybe I should have left more troops there. <sighs> oh well. Alright, so... We will... Get our air patrols up. Get a little more, uh... Responsible ship patrol patterns. And we will get back to you when we find something okay hello hello that's what we have one ship possibly a battle cruiser somehow managed to get past everybody and now they are approaching uh, Savo Island so from Little Canal Avengers with torpedoes. From Lexington. Avengers with torpedoes. From Saratoga. Hmm. Avengers with torpedoes. Why not? And from Surface Action Group 9. A scout. To try and shadow them, see where they're going. We're also going to get Surface Action Group 9 in uh, movement. Uh, let's see, how far is it from the cruiser group? 66 miles. And 37 miles, so... We'll see what happens. I may move uh, Surface Action Group 9 in on them. Alright, so we've got 8, 9, 12. Okay. So our first strike's going to be with 17. Let's see if we can. Uh, can't launch aircraft. Okay. Whatever. Let's get you a little closer. And go to tactical. Okay, give everyone orders to hit the deck. They are ready for uh, ready for anything. And there's the battleship. So you over here. Everybody's targeting. Uh, you can come over here too. Why not? One individual uh, Avenger in that flight. You guys, I want you to come over here. Try and uh, coordinate this so they move in at the same time. Wow, that's not a fuse, though. That 
That is not a Fuso. Hello, hello. Oh, that would be a nice prize. That would be a very nice prize. It's a nice looking ship right there. I don't have the crest though. Unless this is the uh, Musashi. I don't know if the Musashi had a uh, the chrysanthemum thing up here like the Yamato did. See our planes off in the distance there and there and this single guy here. <laughs> All right. Speed her up. Okay, she's turning. Get the closer ones in on the attack first, the individual, then you. Want you to come over this way. You as well. We'll have you continue on your course just to see how she maneuvers. Our one brave pilot about to. <laughs> Die a horrible death. <laughs> Alright, these guys look like they're in a fairly good position to attack. And he has launched. You can leave. Next flight, we gotta get them back up in the area. Okay, we got one torpedo inbound so far, another four from that side, another eight from that side. You know, they look like they uh, kind of whiffed there a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. So we've got one hit so far, one dud. Holy shit. Wow. Alright, you guys, one of them just got shot down. <laughs> Too close. Come back down. And attack, you're gonna be attacking from the stern, but... That's alright, she's... taking quite a bit of damage. Let's see how these fish do. And she's sinking. Very nice. Good job, Avengers. Maybe she'll drift into our other spread here. Yep. <laughs> Don't wait for the dud. Wait for the dud. And it was stuck by a torpedo. And there goes the Yamato. Down to the bottom. worth watching. Watch her stern rise up into the air like the Titanic. And there she goes. One Yamato down. Curious here. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five. Six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three. Four, five. Eleven hits, five duds. So, that wasn't too bad. 55 command points gained. We ought to buy a 
be able to buy a lot of supply ships with that. He's gone. Just an oil slick on the water. I think at this point, pretty much supply ships are my best bet. Okay, uh, return to base. Return to base. Return to base. Job well done. All right, 45 minutes into the episode here, I think. Hopefully I... Yep, all right, good. That would have sucked if I forgot to push the on pause button, which I have done before. Uh, going forward, before we end the episode, uh, if anyone knows why I took this, it said it was on American hands, and now it's smoking. Uh, let me know in the comment section. If I have to put uh, some more troops on there, I pretty much pulled everybody off to... Uh, go take Rennell. If I have to put some more troops back on here to get rid of the smoke, or if the smoke doesn't matter and it's actually in my hands, it does say that I control it in the summary down here. If that doesn't matter, then I'm just going to ignore the smoke. But if it does, uh, let me know. If I have to put maybe 2,000 troops on there and keep them there, that's what I'm willing to do. But now we have to retake Guadalcanal. And considering I'd never noticed that it stopped smoking. Apparently the Japanese that were there starved to death. And then they brought some more in. We're going to have to deal with that. Before we uh, take the final objective of Milton Bay. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, it's still only 5.30 in the morning so this day could hold a lot of surprises you want to find out, hit that subscribe. Want to help my channel out in the series, hit the, hit the uh, like button. That'll give it a little more exposure on YouTube. Uh, like I said, leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below. I enjoy hearing from my viewers. You guys are great. Thank you very much for your support, and we will see you on the next episode of J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.